Hi, I'm going to teach you how to make a survey on Google. So if you go over to your little waffle in the corner here and click on it, you're looking for a purple icon that says forms. Mine's right here. So you can just click on that. Sometimes you won't see forms on here. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes it's just not here. So if that's the case, if you don't have this little icon here, you can just Google Forms in the search bar, click on it, and then just hit go to Google Forms, and it will bring you here. Um, let's just go back. But you can get to the same exact thing by clicking on your little purple forms if you have it. Then it brings you here. Um, this was the one that we did here. You can choose what kind of survey you would like to do. I just did an exit ticket because it's the easiest thing to kind of work with. So you click on that. And here it is. So you want to title it speech survey. And then you can write a little something down here. And then you have all these things, name, email. If you want to change this question, you can click on it. You can type in your uh, question. It will automatically save. If you want it to be required, like you can't, they can't submit the survey without answering the question. You want to turn that on. Now here's where you can change what type of answer they give. So if you want short answer, they can answer short answer. If you want multiple choice, you can go in here and add your options. Pink, blue, purple. Um, you can also make check boxes so they can click more than one. Um, if you want to get rid of something, you can just go over here and hit the X. And... Um, if you want to feel like leaving those, you can leave those. You can also go to add question and you could say, um, I don't know, I'm just using this as an example. And let's say you want them to do a short answer, so you'll do short answer. Add another question. Um, how are you? Then you can go here. Let's do check boxes. You could say, I'm happy. And you can click here, sad, keep going, um, hungry, whatever. You can add in there. And then when you're done and you don't want these little campers up here, um, you've added all your questions, you're all good. We can go to this little paint palette up here. You can pick a photo for your top. If you go down to just kids, there's a lot of cute things here. Um, so let's say I want this photo. I'm just going to click on it and hit insert. There you go. Then you can change your background, color, theme, your font, even if you want something like that. Um, and then you don't have to hit save or anything. It just automatically saves. So if you hit preview, this is what the parents will see when they fill out their survey. Um, you can see the red asterisk means required. So this is required and this question is required. Now, if you want more to be required, you're going to have to click on the question and hit required. Let's say, well, this one's already required. Let's say you want this to be required. You have to click on it and hit required. And to open up the question, you just click on it. I always make everything required just so that they can't submit it without answering. Um, and that's about it. Now to share this, when you're done with this, you probably want to change this to something that the parents can see. Um, you want to send. So go up here to send. You're not going to email it to every single one of your parents. I mean, unless you want to, this is where you would put their emails, um, emails in, you can do that. That would be easy 
to kind of control who sees it. Um, or you can go to this little link button up here and you can just copy this link and then send it to all of your parents. Now that I'm thinking about it, if you want to just send it to your students specifically, you can just add all their emails right in here. And if you don't know their emails and you just search um, by name, let's see. I know that Nicole is in here and I can just put her in there. Um, if you want another teacher to join you on making your server, you can go to add collaborators and invite people. So add me and you can send it right to me and that's how I can kind of get in there and see all the responses. Um, let me see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, that's how you send it to them. And then once you start getting responses up here where it says questions and responses, there'll be like a little bubble here that will have numbers in it. So you can click it and you'll see all your responses here. And that's how you can kind of keep track of what people are saying. You can also download it into a spreadsheet or you can, um, here you can also see like data, like a pie chart version, you can see graphing. And you can also see individual answers. What each person answered individually will be over here on the right. And I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know and I will um, go back in and kind of re-explain. Re